Hey there, Pete Buckwald. Just wanted to show you some quick things with WaveBurner. Uh, WaveBurner is one of those hidden applications that comes uh, when you buy um, Logic Studio. And it's designated, it, it claims to be a, a, a mastering program, and it, it is, I guess. Um, uh, though I must confess, I, I don't usually use it for that. Um, that being said, just recently I, I used it to send a mastered CD in for a project and uh, to my ear it sounded better than iTunes and I, I wasn't really you know doing a blindfold comparison but just my first knee-jerk reaction hearing uh, a CD that was burned from WaveBurner versus iTunes it, it sounded better. Um, so um, the reason I want to show you uh, WaveBurner is um, this comes in the most handy for me if I have a long file, like this concert was, you know, 109 minutes or something like that. And if you want to take that one long wave file and, and chop it up into uh, different CD tracks, th this is uh, this is the application I use to do that. Um, uh, this is your editing area. Um, you can control the view with this little slider. There's probably a shortcut for that. Uh, and then up in here, um, once I get up in here, the default tool on the sides will give you a fade out or a fade in on the other side. Um, and if I hold down the Apple key or command, it gives me a pair of scissors and I, I can make a new region right there if, if that's where I want the next CD track to be. Alright, so let's say I finish this project. The problem with this particular concert is it won't fit onto an audio CD. Um, and if I mean, before I knew how to export this, I would have to burn a CD um, and then load it up again in the computer. Uh, but you don't have to to do that. If you just want these exported out into iTunes, that, that's kind of what I want to show you how to do here. There's a lot of export. Uh, bounce type commands here and it's easy to do it the wrong way so I just wanted to show you the right way. Um, what we want is a command called CD Tracks Bounce. So here's the problem right now it's grayed out and that's because we haven't really highlighted it yet. Um, so here's all the CDs. I hit this tab right here and then it can highlight the first one go down to the bottom, shift click on the bottom track so they're all selected. Now when we go to file, we go we have this option. So bounce CD track. It's going to ask us for a destination. Let's go into this drive and make a new folder. We'll call it by the artist name. So we take, um, I'll just call it YouTube. Um, Alright, so I created a folder. Here it is. Once I press save, it's going to prompt me to to give a name to each track and I don't know, you know the name of all these tracks by heart so I'm just going to keep on hitting enter, enter, enter unfortunately there's 35 tracks that you get to watch me go through or it looks like maybe 33 tracks I want to see if there's. A, I didn't know if mp3 was an option here if, that's what you wanted. I guess it's not. Uh, just keep going. <clears throat> All right. So looks like I have thirty five. All right, so it's it's doing it. Um, so it might be tempting to hit commands like bounce project. And, uh, there's an export uh, function down here in the file menu about this far, and that might be tempting to do. If this is what you want to do, you might be tempted to go with that command, but that's not the one you want either. Uh, so the command you want, if you want to get out of WaveBurner and into iTunes. Uh, there's no share folder like there would be a GarageBand. You would go to File and see. Uh, what did I 
I say export CD tracks and it only is an option if you hit this tab and select all of the tracks that you want to export. Alright, well I hope this is a helpful tutorial and I look forward to reading your comments.